To announce the largest AI infrastructure project by far in history, and it's all taking place right here in America. A day after his second inauguration, President Donald Trump made waves with the announcement of a major project in the field of artificial intelligence. Flanked by the CEOs of Oracle, OpenAI, and SoftBank, the president revealed details about Project Stargate. And Texas will house the start of what could represent the next big advancement in this emerging technology. Oracle CEO Larry Ellison revealed the first part of Stargate will start in Abilene. The whole project could cost half a trillion dollars as it spreads across the U.S. with a pledge of an initial investment of a hundred billion. The project will launch at the brand new Lancium campus, a data center originally uh, the site planned to focus on Bitcoin mining. It started as a uh, smaller project um, back in uh, 2021, 2022. And then it has, you know, progressively just, just grown. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, I think everyone was uh, shocked in a good way, you know, to uh, see uh, President Trump uh, mention that. And the value of this project is really the uh, tax base for all that equipment, because all that equipment uh, for data storage uh, is, is valuable. Lancium says the first set of actual AI work may begin in the next few months. Expanding AI in Texas comes with opportunity, but also challenges. State lawmakers are also looking at issues like guardrails to protect privacy and managing AI's growing demand on power and water. Republican Representative Giovanni Capriglione co-chairs the state's Artificial Intelligence Advisory Council. He spoke with our Avery Travis about how the state is addressing the opportunities and the concerns. So thanks so much for joining us Thanks today. for having me. I appreciate it. We know you have been so focused on artificial intelligence and some of these technologies. You co-chair the state's advisory council. You also sat on the, the um, a select committee on these emerging technologies. Really interesting report you all released just yeah. last fall. Give us the big headlines for people who may not have dug through that. What jumped out to you all about what people should be paying attention to here? Well, first of all, this is an exciting technology, right? And we're using it every single day. We have been for a while, but there's uh, opportunities for us to make sure that it continues to be safe, that it continues to be able to respect our constitutional rights and so on. Same time, we saw 500 billion is a lot of money, right? And we want that technology to grow, to expand. We want that innovation to happen here in Texas. And it is. Uh, we've become a leader, a world leader when it comes to technologies and data centers and AI someday soon quantum computing and nuclear as well. So uh, a lot of exciting things are happening. We knew that this was going to be a big top of, topic of conversation once Session gaveled in this year. Uh, you filed a really comprehensive bill to try and regulate some mm -hmm. of this AI technology and also require more reporting about how it's being used, not only by businesses, but by some state agencies. So what are you hoping that this bill does if passed? Well, a lot of what we learned during our committees, we had a lot of members from the public come in, we had a lot of industry come in, and what we realized is this uses a lot of data, right? There's a lot a lot of information that is being collected is going to have a lot of power, right? So on the one hand, we do absolutely want to make sure that, that it improves our economy here in Texas, that it creates jobs, which we think it will, that it helps improve diagnosis in healthcare, right? That it makes our lives easier to get from one place to another. That being said, we have a, a fiduciary responsibility, a responsibility to absolutely make sure that when these tools are being used, that we take our constituents' uh, safety in mind. And so what a lot of what this legislation tries to do, it tries to balance those two things, right? not be overly prescriptive, uh, but still provide an opportunity for us to create these guardrails. We know that some of those guardrails exist in the form of, as written, administrative penalties. So mm -hmm. that could look like punishments for folks who are maybe overstepping. How will you all balance that with, with the growth that you want to see? Yeah, I mean, at, at the end of the day, if, if someone is behaving, if they're doing the right thing, if they have Texans in mind while they're doing that, they won't have face any penalties. We don't want to penalize people. We want people to do the right thing. We want these tools to do the right thing. And generally speaking, they will and they have. But what we want to absolutely make sure is that as these companies develop this, as uh, they develop these tools, that they have good governance in place, that they put in procedures to make sure that the, that's transparent, that it's explainable. How are they doing this? But also making sure that this data that they're collecting about me and you and our kids and our families and friends is protected from attacks that they keep us in mind first, and that's what's important. One of the big things here that we talk about with these data centers is, of course, they bring jobs, they bring growth. Uh, they're also quite the power suck. They I know we, when we talk about the grid, we talked about the water usage. So <clears throat> how do you balance some of the infrastructure needs of Texas with the needs of this growing industry? 
Well, um, you know, just over the last few years, of course, we've invested a lot more into the grid, the security, the resilience, the reliability of our grid. But with these data centers, and you, you said it right, I mean, they're taking incredible amounts of power. We want to be able to make sure that we put steel in the ground and make sure that uh, these generators are available, that the capacity is there going forward. I want to thank Governor Abbott for his leadership in, in, in doing that. We have an idea of how much power this might take, uh, so we're going to start working already. Uh, just last session, we had started an energy fund to start this process, and I expect that we're going to continue to go and improve the safety, reliability, and resiliency of our grid. We've said it before today, but the session is just getting started. So thank you so much, <laughs> yeah. Representative, for coming here and making time to talk about uh, one of the most exciting things we expect on the agenda. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks Appreciate for joining us. Artificial intelligence is on the minds of many Texas lawmakers. Several bills already filed aim to regulate AI in different ways. Earlier this month, Republican Senator Charles Schwertner filed legislation to stop health insurance companies from using AI to delay, deny, or modify claims. The bill would give the Texas Department of Insurance authority to audit health plans to ensure compliance. In a news release, the senator said, we simply cannot and should not solely rely on algorithms to understand the complexities and unique needs of patients. I think a temporary pause makes sense to me. Republicans back President Trump's order for a hiring freeze at the IRS, while Democrats push back. Republicans seem intent on ensuring that the IRS fails. We look closer at the order and the impact it could have here in Texas. 